What's up guys and welcome to another transfer video but before we start let me ask you for 350 likes in this video guys so please smash that like button it is really really important for me and for this new channel to grow and it only takes one second of your time. Also don't forget to leave a comment that's really really important as well and subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you want to keep following me. Now on to the news today we're gonna talk about Jaden Sancho once again. We have some developments in his deal with Manchester United. We're gonna talk about Barcelona trying to sign Eric Garcia from Manchester City, James Rodriguez possible ne next destinations, and much, much more. So if you want to watch all the news, check the video. Next, enjoy, let's go. Okay guys, today we start with Takefusa Kubu may spend next season on loan at Real Betis. The 19-year-old winger impressed on loan at Mallorca this season despite their relegation from La Liga. He is unlikely to get his chance in Zinedine Zidane's team next term, however, and they are considering his next step. Mundo Deportivo reports Betis have been keeping track of him and could make an attempt to take him on loan. Dutch side Utrecht are hopeful of signing Daniel Arzani on loan from Manchester City, Football International reports. The 21-year-old winger is expected to make the move once his work permit is arranged. Elon Meslier will join Leeds United on a permanent basis this summer, he has confirmed. The goalkeeper has been on loan at the championship side this season, but has made only 9 league appearances. He has told Cast friends that he will sign a contract to join the team in the Premier League next season. I will sign Thursday for 3 years with Leeds. It's a great story, he said. Hugo Guillamont has signed a 3-year contract extension with Valencia. The 20-year-old was set to become a free agent as his deal expired this summer, but the club have confirmed he will still be there next season and with an improved release clause of 80 million euros. Manchester United have inquired about James Rodriguez's availability this summer, El Chiringuito claims. The Colombian midfielder looks set to leave Real Madrid this summer, but Inter, AC Milan and Benfica have also asked about the asking price. Manchester City are really close to signing Diego Rosa from Grêmio, according to reports. The 17-year-old midfielder will be loaned out to Lommel SK after the deal goes through. Pierre Emily Hosbjerg has decided he would rather join Tottenham than Everton this summer, the Telegraph claims. The Southampton midfielder is wanted by both Premier League sides, with the Toffees having a 28 million euros offer accepted, but Osberg would rather make the move to North London. AC Milan have cooled their interest in German midfielder Mario Götze, according to Calcio Mercato. The 28-year-old is now a free agent after leaving Borussia Dortmund last month, and San Siro had been touted as a possible next destination for the playmaker. However, Milan have distanced themselves from a move for Götze because they cannot afford to match his 8 million euros per year wage demands. Real Madrid winger Lucas Vazquez is the subject of interest from Tottenham according to reports. Spurs are ready to table a 16 million euros offer for the 29 year old when the transfer market reopens. Vazquez has fallen down the pecking order at Madrid and there's Zinedine Zidane this season, taking in just 22 appearances across all competitions. Brazilian defender Mariano Ferreira Filho leaves Turkish football club Galatasaray till the Lions announced on Wednesday. Mariano said goodbye to his teammates and the technical team after his last training session. Istanbul side said on Twitter, thanks for your efforts, good luck Mariano, Galatasaray added. Arsenal are finalizing their first formal contract offer to Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, with the Gunners ready to put up a 276,000 euros a week deal on the table, the Telegraph reports. The future of the Arsenal captain has been a hot topic in recent months, with the Gunners striker current contract expiring in the summer of 2021. And Mikel Arteta's side are desperate to tie down their star man to an extended deal, with the Bomayang reportedly wanting assurance that the Gunners boss will be given his full backing by the club's board. 
Monaco head coach Niko Kovac wants to sign two of their former Eintracht Frankfurt players as he tries to bring in new faces to the league and club, Sportbuild reports. Luka Jovic, who has struggled to make an impact since his move to Real Madrid last summer, is one on Kovac's radar, while winger Filip Kostic is another he is keen on bringing in. AC Milan are also reportedly interested in Kostic, although it could cost as much as 30 million euros as he is tied down to a contract with Frankfurt until 2023. Chelsea want to lure Mark and Reiter Stegen to the club, although they are aware that the move is essentially impossible because Barcelona does not want to sell. The German international is considered one of Europe's top keepers with Mundo Deportivo reporting that Frank Lampard is keen on taking him to Stanford Bridge to replace Kepa. But Barcelona will resist offers for the 28-year-old with Ter Stegen contracted to the La Liga club until the summer of 2022. Real Madrid have started talks with Bayer Leverkusen over loaning them 18-year-old Brazilian wonder kid Renier with the Bundesliga club potentially looking for a replacement for Chelsea-linked Kai Havertz. The La Liga club are looking at providing the youngster with more first-team exposure next season and see a lone move to the Bundesliga as being ideal for his development. And now really quick, this is a confirmation, in this video the Polish winger has signed a 4-year deal with Norwich. Manchester United have received a boost in their pursuit of Jadon Sancho with Borussia Dortmund looking at signing Milo Rashica as a possible replacement. The Daily Telegraph reports that there is currently a 22 million euros gap between United's valuation of Sancho and Dortmund 110 million euros asking price. But with the Bundesliga side having reportedly identified Werder Bremen star Hashtika as a summer target, there is increasing hope that the Red Devils will be able to get a deal over the line for England winger Sancho. West Ham forward Albion Ajeti is the subject of interest from Celtic according to Sky Sports. Neil Lennon has been heavily involved in talks with the Premier League outfit as the Hobbs consider launching a formal summer bid. Celtic are open to signing Ajeti permanently or on loan with his current market value reportedly set at around 10 million euros. Bayer Leverkusen star Kai Havertz is planning to request a move to Chelsea this week According to Build, the Blues are in talks with the Bundesliga club over a 77 million euros deal for the 21 year old who has also been linked with Manchester United and Real Madrid. Havertz will make his feelings known to Leverkusen officials when the club resumes senior training again on Thursday. Sassuolo midfielder Luca Telli is open to a move to Juventus according to Calcio Mercato. The Bianconeri have been tracking the 22-year-old throughout the 2019-2020 season with a view to launching a bid for his services this summer. Inter have also been linked with Lucatelli, but Juve is now being mooted as his most likely next destination. West Ham will sign Thomas Sosek on a permanent deal once their Premier League survival is confirmed, according to the Telegraph. The Hammers are obligated to buy the Czech Republic midfielder from Slavia Prague for 21 million euros if they avoid relegation. Salsek has scored 3 goals in 11 appearances since joining West Ham on loan in January. Inter are ready to sell Manchester City target Milan Skriniar according to Calcio Mercato. The Nerazzurri are now willing to listen to offers within the region of 55 million euros for the 25-year-old centre-back. Skriniar has featured in 39 games for Inter this season, but no longer enjoys the full confidence of Antonio Conte. Napoli and Rome are close to reaching an agreement for Ender. Calcio Mercato reports Gennaro Gattuso's side have offered 25 million euros for the Turkey international, but Rome are holding out for 30 million euros. Everton and Borussia Dortmund had been considering a bid for the 22-year-old, but have decided to back out. Olympique Lyon could be said to make an attempt to sign Luis Gustavo from Fenerbahce, Lee Keep reports. The former Bayern Munich and Olympique Marseille defensive midfielder joined the Turkish side last year and his contract runs until 2023. But Lyon's sporting director Juninho 
wants to reunite its compatriot with Rudy Garcia if they lose our war this summer. Everton, Newcastle and Manchester United are interested in signing Juventus Rabio, reports Calcio Mercato. The midfielder joined Juve just last summer, but both player and club are open to parting ways. Juventus could use Rabio as a make weight in a bigger deal, but are open to selling him outright if the right offer comes along. Rabio, meanwhile, sees the Premier League as an, as an ideal fit as he looks to continue to develop as a player. Once again, Olympique Lyon in the news, they are set to seal a deal to sign Sink Oskakar, reports Lee Kip. The Turkish under-21 international is set to sign a five-year deal with the French side. He is expected to join the first team, at least to start, with there being a good chance he could be loaned out next season. Jorge Jesus is looking to bring Brazilian star Everton to Benfica, according to reports. The Grêmio star has been linked with an European move for some time, with Napoli, AC Milan, Inter, Everton and Borussia Dortmund among those linked with the winger. Everton has earned 14 caps for Brazil, scoring 3 goals and was a member of the 2019 Copa America winning team. Inter chief executive Giuseppe Marotta said the club is in talks with Barcelona target Lautaro Martinez regarding a new deal. The striker has been heavily linked with the move to the La Liga Giants, but Marotta remains confident Inter can keep hold of the Argentine. Barcelona are looking to put together a swap deal to sign Eric Garcia from Manchester City, reports Sport. Barca are desperate to bring the defender to La Liga and are willing to use swap deal involving João Cancelo and Nelson Semedo to do it. Garcia was a member of Barcelona's academy before signing with Manchester City in 2017, with the defender making 18 appearances for under Pep Guardiola this season. Leeds United are ready to make an offer for Argentine star Thiago Almada, reports Transfer Market. The Vélez Sarsfield star is one of South America's most promising players, having previously been linked to Manchester United and other clubs. Almada, 19 years old, has made 46 career appearances for Vélez Sarsfield and is a regular member of Argentines under 20s. And finally, to finish the video, guys, Southampton are eager to resign Adam Lallana when he leaves Liverpool, according to the Express. But Leicester and Burnley are also interested in signing him on a free transfer. We reached the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, like I said in the beginning. Our goal for today is 350 likes, so please smash that like button. Also, it is really, really important if you could leave a comment down below about anything that you want, guys about the video, about rumors, about confirmations, about FIFA 21, PS5, whatever guys, leave a comment down below, I always answer every comment in my videos, subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you want to keep following me, stay safe, I'm Defaults and I'll see you guys in the next video.